Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am starting this vlog off in a very crazy, chaotic way because Jack is surprising me with a date night in the city to go see a Broadway show. We're gonna go see Aladdin. He's currently somewhere back there using the bathroom. He ended up getting some tickets to Aladdin from a coworker who couldn't go tonight. So he was like, last minute, he's like, we're going to the city, we're going to Aladdin, let's do this. And even texted my boss, got the whole, everyone was in the work. Is that him walking? Let's see. Imagine this isn't him, this would be really awkward. <laughs> Jack says we probably have like one minute, but I really just wanted to check right in. We got our Aladdin playbill. Show's so good. I'm loving the glitz and glam. The we're like literally right by the orchestra. Like check out those seats. That's yeah. where the orchestra she is. Like sparkles the way Jenna like sparkles and glitter. You should come watch Aladdin. It's so good. It's so good. This is one of, ooh, okay, it's starting back up. Bye guys. <laughs> so date night was so fun. We ended up getting back at like midnight. Then I went to work super tired the next day, but whatever, it's fine. Now it's Saturday, back at work, almost wrapping up for the weekend. And then Jack and I are gonna head to the mall, go errand shopping. We we are also looking for a present for our friend Katie's birthday. We're gonna be celebrating her tomorrow. We're gonna to actually go to see a movie, but before that, we're gonna grab drinks. So I'm excited because we don't typically go out for drinks that much anymore, unless it's like a celebration thing, because you know, I've mentioned it in the vlog before, but like we're really focusing on our budget and doing like honing in on that. I definitely plan to share more of our budget stuff and like exactly what we're spending and like talking about all that and like how it's helped us. We've only been doing it for two months, like following that budget template, but it is really, really helpful to see like where your money's going. On a side note, work-wise, Ron, our jeweler, just started working on my mom's ring. It's like the pieces are finally here. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. That'll be probably in a couple vlogs from now because I want to wait to like do the whole thing. Like it takes a couple steps, you know what I mean? So going to put that all together and I think I am going to end up showing my mom versus like saving it as a surprise. I'll probably still record her reaction, but I think for J-Mark, I'm going to release it as like a three-part series because like what I showed you guys on YouTube, I still have not posted on the J-Mark page. So I think I'm going to do like that part first and the second part I'm going to do like the creating of the ring and then the third part will be like me giving it to her in February so I'm super pumped for that speaking more about J-Mark we just got some more engagement slash like wedding day photos which I'm pumped about I love 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 featuring photographers pictures a because they look so good but b it's like our clients on their best day ever and they get such close-up ring shots that are just chef's kiss we love to see those so I'm going to be posting those on our page again shameless plug if you're not already following us Please follow at JMark Jewelers on our social media pages so you can follow me along on all of that. Okay, enough work talk. I'm gonna get back in because we're about to close the store here soon. So I gotta help break down and then I'm gonna go on with my Saturday night. Okay, we're on the way to the mall and of course we had to stop and get some Dunkin'. So this is my Dunkin' compared to Jack's. Tell them the story on what you just asked for in the drive through line and how our coffees. Turn Jack off. got the most expensive coffee on the menu. <clears throat> well, First of all, I've been on a black coffee renaissance, especially with Dunkin'. I, eat, I drink black coffee every morning. It's usually what I drink. When I go to Dunkin', usually I get some frou-frou drink like Jenna. Some frou-frou um, drink. <laughs> but so today, instead of getting the white hazelnut bark, I saw the pink velvet macchiato. It's like, oh, this is awful lighting, but you guys saw it before. Pink and velvet <clears throat> macchiato. Bussin'. Bussin'. It's good. Yep, don't regret it. Jenna said, it's probably so many calories. It's like, probably so dang I'm good. Jack is always going to be the one to try whatever the new drink is on the menu. And for, I guess, Valentine's Day, it's the pink velvet. And yeah, I did have one sip. I won't lie. And it was, it was really, really good. I feel like I need to be sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts espresso? It's what's on top. Mm, okay. I'm still on my pumpkin spice kick. I feel like I should be wronged for having this, but... It's so good, and you only get it until like this they run out of them. So I'll go back to my two pumps of caramel when I'm done. But I you know I follow the macro barista guy, and I get what he says to get, and it's better than the worst of it, I should say. Like I don't put all the sugar in it, I don't put all the cream. You know, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And I will say this was my only one for the week. So 
making progress guys so still no luck on the white dress hunt i'm on dress number six i ordered another one and i hate it so we're really struggling here as i'm going to look for dresses i'm telling jack i'm like jack i really want your opinion i want your help to find these dresses what do we find one of those like minute massages or whatever jack goes in there after i was like don't go in there it looked really sketchy okay jack goes well, in there pays twenty dollars <laughs> which is not a bad price to go get 20 minutes of a massage and I'm like joking. I'm like, oh my God, were you like shirtless? Did you not have a shirt on? He goes, yeah, I was laying on a table with no shirt on. That's a great massage. Oh, I mean like they like gave me a massage. It was like the, I got the 20 minute thing and they did both sides of my back. That's his version of shopping with me. It is, it's a great way to shop. Anyways, I'm still on a freaking hunt to find a dress. No luck, we might try a different mall tomorrow like in Connecticut with better stores. Before we run and start all of our errands, it is a must that I get my eyebrows and my lip waxed. Okay, I'm Italian, if you know, you know. Just one of those days, Jack may or may not get his eyebrows waxed. He's nervous because he has sensitive skin and he usually breaks out after, but I wanted to get this done first before I put my makeup on and do my hair for later today. I just like took a shower and sort of blow dried it and here we go. So I look like a little rat doll right now, but it is what it is. And we're gonna go in get our eyebrows waxed, and then we're gonna go food shopping and then have a day. Okay, it's been a little bit, but I got my eyebrows waxed and my lip, just like I said, Jack, we are now grocery shopping. Jack's putting this stuff in the car because it's really cold. There's still some wax on my eye and it's been like an hour. Jack did not have a great experience. Um, not that they came out bad. It was just like his, fa his face is like very sensitive to, or his skin's very sensitive to wax. And like we came out and it was like all red. And so now he's wearing these sunglasses. You're gonna see, see him. <laughs> and so I didn't think it was the right moment. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't think it was the right moment to vlog earlier because he's a little mad, not at not me. Doing shit. <laughs> I know I'm not doing anything right now. It's really cold. So I was like, ah, oh, Jack, you can put it all in the car. But okay, so his face was really red and he was like, I look ridiculous. I'm never getting this done again, blah, 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 blah. But I really do want him to get it done one more time before our engagement photos and a second time before our wedding. And then he can do whatever he wants, but we'll visit that at another time. Thank you so much. We just did a haul. It was an expensive haul because we needed like things like toilet paper and tissues, paper towels. So, you know, those always add up, but at least we won't have to buy that for hopefully another like five-ish months. I feel like I do like three of these hauls a year and we just ran out well, like we have like one or two more left so i was like you know we're here let's just pick them up and then tomorrow we're gonna go to the mall so today's like all the food errands and then we're going to hang out with katie and them and my poor jack's working so hard right now i feel bad i'm like just sitting here vlogging aside from all the paper towels this is the food haul for the week it's honestly a very weird food week for us because we're going to Mississippi on Thursday. So we just kind of got some necessities and then like we already had half of what we wanted in the fridge and freezer. So like, for instance, Jack's doing some picadillo, but he already has the meat here. And then I'm doing um, some chicken and Brussels, but I already had some chicken frozen. So all I needed to get was the Brussels for dinner. And then these were stocking up on because they like never have these at our Sam's Club. It's like the Just Bear original chicken breast bites. These are the best and they have the best macros on the back. Like we compared them to like every other brand in there. Like if you have an air fryer, very much recommend the Ninja one. You need to get these because look for 84 grams of them, only nine carbs, 16 grams of protein and seven fat. They taste just like Chick-fil-A and fun fact, like where we live, there's no Chick-fil-A by us, which is very unfortunate. So this is our little Chick-fil-A remedy. And then we just got a couple other things. Again, we're leaving later this week, so we didn't want to buy too much. We basically, like, it still felt like a big food haul just because we had to stock up on the toilet paper, paper towels, all that kind of stuff. And then like Jack needed some more like shampoo, but this was actually this big bottle, like in reference to my head, it was only seven bucks. It was in, it was on sale at Sam's. And then we just got a couple other things. Like we ran out of coffee, so we bought another big coffee. So. It's just weird. Like, I feel like our food bills are like never really the same per week. 
what do you guys do? Let me know. Do you guys enjoy watching some of our food hauls? I know this is like a bad one, but I'll show the meals when we make it later this week. And I'm also gonna share like a little fun, sweet, healthy-ish recipe, um, like a sweet treat. It's like strawberries, dark chocolate, and peanut butter. I've been wanting to make this like all week. I had Jack go and get me strawberries from the commissary. So these have kind of been, I, don't, I think they're still fine. They've been like sitting in here for a couple days now. So gotta make those, but... Yeah, we already had like a lot stocked in our fridge, so we didn't really have to get as much food as we normally do. And I'm just trying to keep it simple for the week because we just want to like make stuff and then like not have to clean a million things and then just be able to pack and go to Mississippi. <laughs> Okay, this is a new record. It took me 15 minutes to get ready today. I was determined to get ready before Jack woke up from his nap. He set a 30 minute alarm. Here we go, easy curls. My hair didn't curl like as much as I wanted it to because I washed it this morning and then blow dried it. So it's a little clean. It always curls better on like the second or third day. So tomorrow I feel like it'll look better if I like touch it up, but it's still cute. And it's like a clean little simple, easy, easy look for today and then I'm just pairing it with a sweater and literally leggings because I don't feel like like we're gonna go see a movie I don't want to wear jeans you know I'm I'm a non-jeans girly like it is very rare you will catch me in jeans so that's that I'm letting Oakley run around before she cries that we're leaving her so see if she'll go climb the mountain behind her but other than that, I'm waiting for Jack to get up and then we will be on with our day. We have to go get the beer. The, we're gonna gift her the local beer and then we're gonna go to, the other, to another brewery, hang out with her. Lots of things going on today. So as soon as that's done, then I will be home and I'm probably gonna do a couple chores. And then tomorrow is a mall day. I am so, so, so excited for tomorrow because I am on a mission guys to get a white dress. I just got this dress in the mail from Show Me Your Moo Moo. It's the one pictured in the thumbnail of this video, and I love the front, but the back is just not flattering, which is why I'm not going to wear it. This must be like the eighth dress in general that I've ordered and not loved. For my brides out there, have you guys had any luck with like any specific websites? Any girl with like a specific body type as mine would love to know what you picked. I have exhausted Amazon. I have exhausted a lot of different sites like Lulu's, all that kind of stuff. So. Let me know if you guys have any like recommendations, if you guys have any good white dresses. I'm trying to I think like beachy because it's going to be on the beach in Jupiter, Florida. That's where we're doing the pictures. So I want, I don't know, like I'm not really like a long white dress, kind, like I'm not a long dress kind of person. Like I think, I think beach, you think maxi dresses, it's just not really my vibe. Like I would love something shorter, not short, short, but like something that is, <sighs> I feel like I just don't wear long dresses. So something that's more me would be like a shorter, nice top kind of dress. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm asking for. I don't even know what I want. So I don't even know how I'm gonna ask you guys for Rex, but maybe y'all will be able to help me pick something out. It is Monday night and I have had absolutely zero, zero luck with finding a white dress for these engagement photos. I, I feel like I've just been talking about this this whole vlog, but that's truly been my weekend and my past like couple weeks of me like really trying to find a dress for this. So we went to, um, I think it's called the Palisades Mall or something like that. It's supposed to be New York's second largest mall, okay? So it's like, oh my goodness, they're gonna have all the stores, we're gonna be great, like we're gonna have, it's gonna be fine. Like they, some store in there has to work out, right? Like this is like four stories high of a mall. 
I go in and everything is still winter, which like makes sense, right? You're in the Northeast, but you think about like New York, you're in the fashion capital and what do we have? Nothing. You know what New York stands for? Oh, not the fashion capital, okay? And granted, I wasn't in the city. Maybe that needs to be like my next thing. Like, do I just go to New York City to find something? But my our other thought is maybe going to some boutiques in Hattiesburg. That was actually Jack's idea because we're going to Mississippi on Thursday. Do you have any idea of like where, where we could go? Um, I've never been boutique shopping in <laughs> Hattiesburg, but I know there's a lot there. So And it would give that like Southern girl, like Florida-esque, beachy kind of vibe. I'm hoping maybe any Mississippi followers, please let me know if you guys know anything in the Hattiesburg area of where I could go. But we're also going to New Orleans because we're going to go see our friend David. So maybe we could go in New Orleans as well. But either way, I just need to figure something out. Maybe I'll just order some more dresses and then send them back. Okay, let me move on from the dress fiasco. Last night was so fun. We ended up going to the brewery with Katie and Nick and then we went to see the movie. The movie's called Anyone But You. You guys have to go see it. So, so good. Like definitely the movie to watch in February. Like the little nice rom-com chick flick. It's so cute. Now, as promised, I'm going to show you guys our little sweet treat recipe. We're gonna do the chocolate covered, peanut butter covered strawberries. I already started, um, already washed them. So I'm gonna have Jack film this part because I just don't feel like getting my tripod out. Okay, so you're gonna start by cutting and having these, so it'll go like this on parchment paper. Normally I would do this on a cutting board, but they are in the wash from dinner. So I'm gonna do this part. Okay, so this is how the strawberries are gonna look. You wanna slice them thin. I actually did them into thirds. Some of them are half, but yeah, you get the picture. Now I'm gonna take some peanut butter. I'm just using this like natural Jif creamy one and I'm gonna melt it. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Perfect, so that's the consistency you want, so you can drizzle it on. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the freezer for like a couple of minutes. Boom. It just needs to harden, and then we're gonna do the chocolate, so. Some for the chef, AKA Jack. I'm just using some of these semi-sweet ones and I'm just gonna melt Sorry them. Again. I'm just using some of these semi-sweet ones and then I'm just going to melt them. I wanna do more chocolate than peanut butter, so I'm probably gonna do about that much. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. It's just to like solidify it just a little bit on there and then now you're gonna add the chocolate on top and just kind of mix it on. Okay, I know this doesn't look the prettiest, but now I'm gonna put it back in the fridge and so it comes more of like a bark and then we'll, t or in the freezer, and then I'm gonna take it out and I'll show it to you guys when it's done. Guys, definitely put this on a tray, don't be me. But yeah, put it in there. Oh, well, my mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna let that solidify. That's the consistency you want. It's been in there for about 15, 20-ish minutes. Jack's now making us our bedtime tea. We legit have bedtime tea every night. Um, but yeah, okay, this looks really good. I could probably leave it in there even longer and it would be a little like crunchier, but very good. A little healthy, sweet treat. Healthy or not the healthiest, but very good and better than other treats you could have at night. True taste test, let's go. Seven, eight. Seven, eight? Seven point eight. Seven point eight. I'll take it. We're waking up to a bunch of snow. Jack got called off work. Oakley is not having a good day because she wants to come right now, but wow, look at this and it's still snowing. Um, yeah, Jack got called off work. I still have work, so he is taking me in the truck. Oh, I just got so much in the truck. Such a little winter wonderland. I love this. At least the main road is pretty plowed. I will say the people here in New York, the crews, they do a good job. This is a uh, Route 9, if you're familiar in the area. This is our little route to work. Oh 
my route to work. But yeah, not too terrible today. Made it to work safe and sound from my Uber driver here. <laughs> my first snow day in New York. It Last is. Last time I showed up, the snow was already here, but this time I got to wake up and I hope it was like a Christmas miracle where it just showed up overnight. Definitely less snow than last time. You literally look like a murderer with that hat on, Jack. Good. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get to work. I think this is how I'm going to end this vlog because next I'm going to be like packing and getting ready for our trip on Thursday to Mississippi. We're going home to visit Jack's family and then we're going to also be in New Orleans because that's where we're flying into. So we're super pumped for that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And if you're in the Northeast or Texas or whoever else is getting to know Nashville, Hope you guys are staying warm and not having to drive on these roads. All right, catch you guys next Wednesday. Bye.